All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. How you doing? I hope you're doing all right. Let's go, uh, let's go kill a traitor, shall we? And he's down there. Yeet! Yoat. Oh dear lord. Hey, no, 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 no. Okay, never mind. Let's strip the dog off. Yeah. I guess no sneaking around. All right, let's set a trap. And we're gonna ghost a rat. Nope. Set it. There we go. Okay, so we need to avoid the guards. There's a guard there. Any soldiers around? No? Where are you, Conan? He isn't here. But someone else may have seen him. Eivor! Finally, Tiritechwalet! Don't speak Welsh. Bridget, uh, it is good to see you. Eivor! What has become of Tevder? Did you faint your scarf? Uh, thank you. I have found Teftir alive and safe. I need to speak to Kun- Bridget! I found an abandoned bird nest in the rafters! I'm going to take it home to Mother! If you gaddle it, then the Babans will do it in all a lay god- It's you again! The Sowan Butcher! The Sowan Butcher? Never mind. Gwyneth, <clears throat> I'm looking for Kunan. Have you seen him? He's busy with the festival and shooed me away to Bridget. Would you like to see some magic I've been practicing? Can you show me to Kunan if I say yes? Just one trick, and then I can show you around. Um, okay. So reach into this pouch. And the number of stones you're holding is... three. Wonderful magic, Gwen. But now I really need to find Kunan. Davyadayam, sir! Come on! <laughs> let's go find him! There are the church ladies. They don't like the festival. But Mama says they come anyway to cluck cluck like hens. Do you want to see- I would know more about you, Gwyneth. You're certainly an odd little bird. Mother says there'll be no one like me in the whole of creation. From the dawn of dust to the end of sorrows. You're close with Bridget. She's like a big sister. But it's not like I'm going to get to see her much anymore once she leaves with you and Gunnar. Your father? And your father, Gwyneth. Where is he? Well, it's not to be spoken of. But I was born from the union of my mother with the horned king of the forest, Genunos. Right. Your mother trusts you, lets you run about on your own. She spends the holiday blessing hermits in old rocks. What fun is that? Uh, I should find Kunan. Do you want to see another trick? I can pull an acorn no, from your you ear. No, you told me you I were going to help find me find Kunan. Kunan. It is important. You're lost, Butcher. It's Eivor. She's following me around. Outside. Okay. Why is, is that, that woman a wearing duck? a striped mask? That's a badger. All the festival ladies in charge wear one. Oh. That makes a Have lot of sense. Have you seen Elderman Kunan? Oh, that 
unholy visage startled me. It's past sundown, so Kunon has retired to the church for prayer. I have business with him. Even if you have business with him, it will have to wait until the morning. Locked himself in. Only Geva has the key. Would Geva let me in? She's been instructed not to. Not that I can see her following a task so simple. Girl'd forget her own head if it weren't attached. Thank you for your help. I will speak with Kunan tomorrow. The key is I must find her. Alright, well there's somebody. Do you know who Geva is? I'm looking for Glowerchester's elderman. <laughs> well, the one who still draws breath is in the church. How do I get in? You're not supposed to get in. No reason to enter that dump anyway. Fuck, you'd have to get me very drunk to show you inside. Okay. Sounds like some eel will lose his tongue. Whoa, what? Okay. <laughs> Just a corpse. You harbor a personal grudge against the church. I hate this town more than I hate the building, or, Lord forbid, God himself. Damn kids here keep ruining my offerings in his glory. Offerings? Oh, son of a bitch! Let's look for somebody else because there's a corpse there. <laughs> Alright, there's two people here. Or three if you count. Oh no, that's just a uh, one of one of Reda's people. Have you seen Kunan? <laughs> He's gonna be in the Wicker Man. Right, yeah, that helps. Thank you. I knew that. Have you seen Kunan? <laughs> the man in it! Oh, goodness, you're so frightening. What are you doing after the festival? I am looking for Kunan. Right! Right, yes, he's in the church. Actually, if you're headed that way, this crate needs to be delivered to him. Just tell Geva I sent you. Of course. Okay. What does Geva look like? Badger mask, same as me. Should come running when she sees you. Best of luck, and happy Samhain! Thank you. He's waiting for his delivery to the church. That's my way in. Excellent. Go around, hopefully. Ah, oh, damn it! There's a guard looking like right in that direction. Right, gotta keep my eyes peeled for that crate to look. Ah, the crate! Yes, yes, come this way. Good, you came by. Sarah was supposed to drop it off ages ago. Thank you. I appreciate it. Please get me inside before one of them detects me. Oh my god. Am I stuck right here? Really? There we go. Open the door. Hey. 
and in we sneak. Or maybe not. Maybe not this way. Not at all. We just go through the door like a normal human being. Kunan is inside. I must find a way to get in. I mean, we can just smash the door open. There you are, Snake Tongue. Eivor! <laughs> have you have you been enjoying the festivities? We are done with this shadow play. Tefter is safe, and I know of your plan to sacrifice him in your stead. You think I mean to escape the flames? I go to the Wicker Man gladly, but I will not leave Glowerchester in the hands of the Christian Zealot. Then what? Leave your people without a leader, and an angry church ready with holy fire? They won't be without a leader. Modron will sit upon the Horn's throne. Are you telling me that Modron lied? Ha! <laughs> We've turned you in circles like a dog, haven't we? Modron was the architect of Tevder's murder, Eivor. All to take control of Glowerchestershire for herself. It would be a hard grasp to hold, surrounded by Christians on all sides. There was no other way. She had a vision. Tevder frayed by flames and burning. Everything we created together. Everything? You and Mothran. Then Gwynedd. A man must get his house in order before his death. Feather his nest for his children. Your grand scheme has collapsed into sand at every step, Kunan. I know. I never should have trusted Gwilym and his merry band of fuckwits to kill one man. You and the witch. This was your plan. To make me dance your merry tune. So you could build a legacy for your daughter. I always desired Modron. So when she asked me to take the part in a fertility ritual, of course I agreed. Our union conceived not only Gwenev, but a united Glowerchestershire. One that Tevder would stamp out. This is where you failed, Kunan. Tevder is a changed man. He straddles the same line as you. Tevder? The boy has the head of a mule. You taught him reason? Not just I. The kindness of bandits and strange Britons. He embraces Christ and Chernanos alike. Shit. Prophecy is a strange web, is it not? Tevder's reformation just needed a kidnapping and a dedicated Dane. Eivor, Modron will have taken Tevder to her forest temple. If you make haste, you might be able to stay her blade. I have much to attend to here, otherwise I'd lead you myself. Go now. <laughs> Unless you plan on killing me first. You are already a dead man. I will not make your people suffer for your actions. Thank you, Eivor. Your mercy will be rewarded, I'm sure. I mean, he was gonna die anyway, so what's really the point in killing him right there? There really isn't one. All right, let's let's uh, let's go through here. Hundred seven hundred. Wow, how far? Uh, is there a? Uh... Nope, not really. So we can just ride out there. <laughs> Off we go. Can I jump the fence? Thank you. Oh, that's right. It's gonna go slow riding through a town. You're saying that, sweet. Yeah. Speed up a little. Yeah. There we go. Off to hunt that tricky witch. More or less a straight shot, jeez. And in the fog we go. <laughs> but of course it's fog, it's England for fuck's sake. Yeah. Sunan, guide me. OK, 
Okay, well, she's in there somewhere. Best not to draw attention here. I mean, I think attention might be exactly what we want. We are stumbling in there dressed as a spirit. she's supposed to be at. Okay, um... That actually might draw some attention. No? Okay. Take out all the guards and see exactly where she might be. There's a cave right over here. It's faint, but I recognize Mordren's voice. No one's nearby. Hmm. Well, they're dead. And there's plenty of blood. I'm assuming through here then? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Gotta stay above the gas. Easy now. Something's not right. She in here? the last one. Or the last one in the area at least. Now let's drop down and get this. Anybody else in here? No. Alright, so she's got to be beyond that. Let's take a look. Okay, going pretty deep. Oh my god, okay. That 
try to stay quiet. This is a new realm entirely. Take this board. Sweat and blood, death and birth. Turn this man from beast to earth. Modron, stay your blade or die at my hand. I should have known Kunon wouldn't have it in him to quarter you for the dogs. It's a cold bitch who throws her lover to the wolves for her own crimes. You understand so little. No matter. <coughs> Let me enlighten you with the fury of the gods! Oh, jeez. Okay. Take this! Oh, shit. Come here, none of that. Die! I am not about to sit here and chase you. Oh my god. Die, Modron! Do it then. Leave Gloucestershire in the hands of that Christian, and for what? Your name and some trade routes? Do you doubt the power of your gods to sway the mind of a man? Tefter is no longer the sellot you believe him to be. A man will lie to save his skin. When you are gone, he'll gut me and burn my people. The gods showed me this. Kunan spoke of your vision. The Nornir spin their fatal threats. But without your plan, his heart would remain unchanged. Then I have no regrets. But I had a vision of you as well. One of a path that twists like the river owls. A seer's spinnings twist limb and word alike. Prophecy is a river, and we are powerless to fight its clutches. She was fighting to protect her people. But she ground your name to dust. Sullied the honor of herself and her people. I cut my own path. Lord in his mercy. What sorcery happened here? The High Priestess Mordron tried to kill you. Why? In God's name, I've done nothing to her. She feared the Church would use you as God's hammer. So she convinced Kunan to have you killed. I killed Mordron, but Kunan lives to burn in the Wicker Man. Such a waste of life. The devil whispers into the ear of man. But we must ignore his voice. Modron had a vision of you wiping out the pagans. And Gwynedd is Kunan's bastard. So he simply did it to protect his kin. Love for one's child is a virtue. But wrath is a sin. How can one entangle with the other? We all lose our heads when our legacy is threatened. Be that name, kingdom, or child. Now, what of the witchling? I'll see that she's cared for. She has no guilt in this. I will not join your Church of Christ! You won't have to. Okay, time to get out of here. What is... I suppose he's walking like that for whatever she did to him? 
That does <laughs> that looks so stupid. Oh my god. Let's uh let's fast travel back. Okay, where are we headed that way? I should be hopefully welcome here again. Oh god. I have returned. You just telling that to nobody? Wait, is this? Oh god, that's a house. Wow. I just ran across somebody's roof. Gunnar, my friend! Gunnar, it's good to see a face I trust. Even your frightful muck. I thought this could be our shared saga, but it's time to leave. We have spent not but a drink together. Worry not, Eivor. You and I have many tales to tell yet. And our names ring out clear and with honor. Yeah, a tale. A tale of Gloucester. Beautiful land. Full of damned fools. Ha! I will drink to that. You have my thanks. Anything for you, old friend. Then let us say our farewells to this wicker king, and then be on our way home. Yes, Ranvi will be eager to meet Bridget. All right, let's go. Bridget and Gunnar have already gone ahead. I should join them. They're literally right ahead, right in front of me. <laughs> Let's speak to him. Come on. Tell me, please. What of Moulton? Dead and burned on a pyre, much like this one. <laughs> I didn't think. I hoped you would spare her at least. Please don't do it! We can find something else! Someone else! Peace, dear heart. I will join the dirt that grows the trees and the barley, my body feeding the gods, worms, and even you. So I will be here. And a long long time from now when you're old and wrinkled like an apple <laughs> you will see me again father i thought i could be ready it is time Then this is yours. This is your path, Tifter. No thorns and briars could keep you from it. And you, Eivor, friend of Gloucestershire. You have lived up to your reputation. I know you owe me less than nothing, but please, take care of them. I take no pleasure in the suffering of others. You would know this if you had given me a chance. Twenty years I have been your elderman. Now these old bones are ready for my last duty. I have worked alongside you, clearing fields, brewing drink, births, and deaths. All growing and learning. The wicker man is ready, O oh king. Your altar awaits. I am honored. To be your Harvest King. With this flame set, may our crops be plentiful 
and our winter's brief. Despite it all, he has the ending he prayed for. Straight to the mouths of hungry gods. Ebien come for in Evo, the honor is yours. Praise the harvest king! Jesus Christ. That was not pleasant to watch. <coughs> I mean, wow. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranbi. Best tell her the good news. Um, well, first things first. Can I, can I get my regular hair cloak back? No? Maybe if I stop moving? Oh god. Alright. Back we go. Where it, I always do this. I always want to think it's lower down on the map than it actually is. Oh, there we go. Yes. <laughs> I I kinda want it wanted to keep that but you know to equip when I wanted it not okay whatever is it is it staying as a quest item no a turnip I got a turnip from that that's about it Gunnar how you doing how you feeling Nice to see Sigurd back where he belongs. That it? Okay. I'm. May they sing of your deeds and my craftsmanship. <laughs> All right, let's go back. Let's report in. Hey, Eivor. Hey, hey kids. Eivor. Rubbish! You had discarded it! Uh -oh. It was not rubbish. I intended to use it. Please, calm down. Ranvi, what's going on? Ranvi, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid, with Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you sit in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Gudrun, Holger, come forward. You will state your cases and I will hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. Gudrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Eivor. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sailcloth missing. 
I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced, with scrawls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You're well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Guthrun, what did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sail with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Okay, Holger. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see? As a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state and so obscured from view. I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see. So you feel Guthrun disposed of something, and now unreasonably seeks its return. Exactly. Yes. Hmm. Okay. So... Des despite all, I'm sort of inclined to believe Holger. Because the last time he, like, he when he made the paintbrush out of the horse hair, he wasn't proudly displaying it. He was just kind of, it was just his. He was hiding it, and he was, like, using it and whatever. And it, it like, somebody noticed, and, and I'm, I'm forgetting his name, but the, hor the horse master noticed it. And also notice the shaven horse. <laughs> but this, it sounds like she had moldy sailcloth that she was gonna throw away. And he just took it and didn't ask. Which, again, he needs to stop. But, I don't, I don't know. I think I've heard enough. All right, I have heard enough. I might have profited from that cloth. Hulk has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my... Quiet. Let me speak. After careful thought, it is clear that... What is this? What are you doing? Holger and Guthron are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this. Stand aside. You were not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear scout? My Jarl, as I was saying, Stop! I... Stop! Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I have known you, Holger, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children, and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holger the liar, you sink lower. You become Holger the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. She could you all know that that is not This the... is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of thirty sailcloths. Thirty times? Surely your chest? That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to pay pranks, Holgate? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl, if I may. I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is... Thirty times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please. Does this not seem unfair? It certainly is. 
but it really seems because the way Bassam described him as being basically just sullen and out of it the entire time and the way Ranvi has talked about him it seems like he just needs reassurance that he is himself so so while I don't want to do it and very much think it's unfair I think I think we gotta go with him on this j j just to reassure him that he is himself and he is ultimately leader of this clan even though he really isn't anymore but you know Sigurd is our Jarl his word is law whether or not you agree you see of course my all as it must be forgive my defiance thank you lord for hearing us out see to it that judgment is carried out exactly as i have said should the need arise again do not fail to rouse me <laughs> Jesus, man. He's just... Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. That was horrific. Basim? Can I, can I talk to you? Basim. Have you spoken with Sigurd lately? We talk from time to time. Why? Have you noticed any change in him? Any loss of, of happiness or feeling? He appears to me... More thoughtful. Introspective. Thoughtful? That seems an understatement. He speaks as if he hears the voices of the gods whispering in his ear. We live in a strange time, Eivor. Among stranger people. Sigurd may be among the blessed. But who can say for certain? Indeed. Where's Holger? Where'd they go? I could hear them. Oh, they're right out here. And please, do not let this blunt our friendship. I did not mean for this to escalate. No, I understand. You were well within your rights. Can, can I talk to either of you? Well, Gunnar is the one who runs the shipyard, so maybe I can talk to her after the fact. I don't know. Pleasure to see you, Eivor. Can... Sigurd? Come on, the prompt was just there. Sigurd. Leave me be. If you wish it. I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a sight you have seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid. But nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime, we press on. I can hardly begin to describe what happened in Gloucestershire. I think you will learn soon enough. But we are allied with them. Yes, for all our pains. That was, that was just insane. Ooh, I got a hundred, uh, a hundred supplies, so let's go upgrade some stuff. Or at least, uh, one of the farms. I only, I think we only really need to keep upgrading one farm left. I'm not positive. We'll see. What is this going to bring us to? What level? Is it still level 6? Or getting to level 6? We're almost there, though. Alright, we just need a couple... Like, dozen more supplies. Uh, where, where is Gunnar? 
or, or Gudrin. Can we talk to her? Anything about that, uh, that nasty business? No? Really? I have to go. See you soon. Don't be a stranger. Okay, well. Alright, so when we return, we're gonna see what else we can get up to. So I thank you so much, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, for joining me. Um and we'll see what we can get up to when we come back in a second so i thank you so much if you're on youtube like comment subscribe on twitch drop me a follow if you haven't already and i'll be back in a moment